Hello everyone, welcome back again. I'm Faculty Manuel from CapacityPay.org and I'm going to be an instructor for this section. So in this section, we're going to be talking about how to onboard data to Splunk and um, to uh, some search. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So I'm going to open up my Splunk instance. I'll go here, search for Splunk, and I'm going to hit enter. So it's going to open this on my default browser, right? And um, it logged me in, but I'm going to log out so we can um, go ahead and log in one more time. So probably you'll be getting this page and what you have to do, input your password and your username and then your password and sign it. So once you're in, um, we're going to go ahead and onboard our data. There are so many methods we can actually uh, go through, but I'm just going to be going through um, simplified methods. So I have a data, right? A and B and B, right? And I want to onboard that data to um, our Splunk instance. So I'm going to first of all create, right? I'm going to create, um, let's go ahead and go here. I'm going to create an index. So click on index. And then I already have some JSON indexes here. So I'm just going to click on new index. And then I'm going to give my index a name. So let's just call it uh, a BNB. And then I'll probably just leave this right and click save. Now, if you can see my instance right here, Airbnb. So I have my instance up. Now, my instance has no data, right? It's just an empty, um, rather, my index has no data. So it's just an empty index. So I'm going to onboard data to it. I'm going to click on settings and add data. So click on add data. Yeah, so I'm going to skip all this. Um, that's because probably if you're new. So we have where we can upload from our computer. So I have uh, airbnb.csv. I'm going to drop a link to that uh, in the description below. So I'm going to um, upload it. I click this. And it brings me to this page. Select source, right? So I'm going to select the file. I click on select file. It opens up my file explorer. I'm going to locate my downloads folder and I have my airbnb.csv. So I click on that and I click on open. So um, if you're using probably having a zip file or what format, uh, it's going to show you an error. Just go ahead and ignore it and click next. Right, so click next, and then it brings us to this page. Mine, it's automatically detected my source type, so it detected my source type is CSV format. So you can actually click and look for your source type, or rather search. So I have CSV, so I can probably search and then I select it. So that's my source type, and. Everything seems fine, so I'm going to click next. Now, we've gotten to this page, and I want us all to pay close attention. Now, the host field value is our um, computer username, right? So we're doing this locally, so it's our computer username. And we're going to select the index. So we can actually create a new index from this page but well, we already created an index uh, called um, Airbnb. So just go ahead and click here and then select that index. So I click on Airbnb and then I click on review. Now I review that I uploaded the file. This is my file name. This is the source type. Um, host is uh, capacity B. Yep. So index Airbnb. So that's my index name. So. That looks fine. I'm going to click Submit. All right. So my file was uploaded successfully, right? And I can click on Start Searching. 
so it's going to open up my search right with this information right so it's going to create i'm going to click skip now it just uh, does uh, a search for me right and uh, basically we're using, a dummy, we're using dummy data so we can actually use um, our timestamp right to um, all time and we have information which simply means our data we're having 30,478 events right so we're having different source type we can check the visualization right uh, we are actually in smart mode so we can change the mode we can see our events we can add uh, more strings so let's just uh, run index equal to um, Airbnb so let's run that search for all time and let's uh, get events Yeah, so we're having events and we have successfully uploaded our data. So that'll be all for this section. Thank you guys for watching to the end of this section, right? Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell notification icon to get notified when we have a new video. If you uh, have questions, drop that in the comment section. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.